Hey guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about basic sets operations and a union of sets. So here we are going to discuss this topic in two sections. So first we are going to discuss about union of sets and then we are going to discuss some different basic sets operations. So first let us discuss about union of sets. So here union of two sets A and B is a set of all the elements of A together with all the elements of B. And now let us solve an example to understand this concept. So here we have the first example as A is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and we have the set B as 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 and here the union of sets is denoted with the letter U. And now let us find the union of two sets A and B. So we get here A union B is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and the elements of B are here 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8. And here while writing the union of any two sets the elements which are common to both the sets are written only once. So here we get the set A union B as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8. And now here we can write the set A union B in the set below form as x such that x belongs to A and x belongs to B. And now let us represent this example in the Venn diagram. We have a rectangle here which represent the union of the both the sets. So here we have the two circles represent the sets A and B. And now let us write the elements of A and B in the Venn diagram. So here let us note the common elements of A and B. We have here 2 and 4 as the common element. So here in this part we can write the common elements of both the sets A and B. So now let us write the common elements 2 and 4 here. And now here let us write the remaining values of A 1 and 3 in the set A. And here we have the remaining values of the set B as 6 and 8. And now let us discuss about basic set operation. So here we have the first property has the commutative property. And here a commutative property states that if two or more numbers are added or multiplied then the result remains unchanged irrespective of its order. Symbolically we can represent it as a plus b is equal to b plus a in addition and in multiplication we can represent it as a into b is equal to b into a. And now here let us consider an example to understand this concept. So here we have a is equal to a comma b comma c and we have the set b as p comma q comma r and now let us find a union b and b union a. So now here a union b is equal to a comma b comma c union p comma q comma r. So here we get the union of two sets as a comma b comma c comma p comma q comma r. And now let us find b union a here. So here the set b elements are p comma q comma r and we have the elements of a as a comma b comma c. So here we get b union a set as p comma q comma r comma a comma b comma c. So here we observe that the elements which are in b union a are the elements of a union b. By this we can say that a union b is equal to b union a. And here we observe that A union B is equal to B union A irrespective of its order. Now let us discuss about the associative property. So here the associative property states that the change in grouping of three or more numbers does not change their sum or product. Symbolically it can be represented as A plus B 
plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. In addition and in multiplication we can represent it as a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So here let us consider an example to prove this property. So in addition we have the condition that a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. 5 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 5 plus 3 plus 6. And now here let us add the group 5 plus 3. On adding here we get 8 plus 6 is equal to 5 plus and here by adding the group 3 plus 6 we get 9. And here this would come as 8 plus 6 is 14 is equal to 9 plus 5 is 14. And in multiplication we have the condition as a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So here we have the example as 2 into 4 into 6 is equal to 2 into 4 into 6. So here by multiplying the group 2 into 4 we get 8 into 6 is equal to 2 into and here by multiplying 4 into 6 we get 24 and here this would come as 8 6 times is 48 is equal to 2 into 24 times is here 48. And now here let us solve an example over here. So here we have an example as a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and here the elements of the set b are 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 and we have c is equal to 3 comma 4 comma 7 comma 8. And now here let us find the value of a union b union c and a union b union c. So here first let us find here a union b union c. And now here to find this let us first find a union b. So here the elements of set a are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 union and here the elements of b are 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. And here the union of a and b are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. And now let us find A union B union C here. So here we have the elements of A union B as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. Union the elements of C are 3 comma 4 comma 7 comma 8. So here we get the union of both the sets as 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 and now let us find a union b union c so to find this first let us find b union c so here the elements of b are 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 union and here these elements of c are 3 comma 4 comma 7 comma 8 and here we get the union of both the sets as 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 and now let us find a union b union c so here the elements of set a are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 union the elements of b union c are 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 so here the union of this both the sets are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8. So here we observe that the elements of A union B union C belongs to the elements of A union B union C. By this we can say that A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. Now let us learn about the identity property. So here the identity property states that there is a special number when multiplied or added to any other number then the other number will still keep its identity and remain the same. Symbolically we can represent it as a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a. In addition and in multiplication we can represent it as a into 1 is equal to 1 into a. So here in addition we have the condition a plus 0 is equal to 0 plus a and here when 
a is added to the zero or zero is added to a we get the result here as a and here the value of a remains the same and in multiplication we have the condition as a into 1 is equal to 1 into a and here when a is multiplied with 1 we get here a and here when 1 is multiplied with a we get here a and now here let us solve the following example so here we have the elements of a as 2 comma 3 comma 5 and we have a null set that is an empty set so here we have to find a union null set and null set union a so first let us find a union null set so here the elements of a are 2 comma 3 comma 5 union so here we have no elements for a null set so we get the union of the both the sets as 2 comma 3 comma 5 now let us find null set union A. So here we have no elements for a null set union and the elements of A here as 2 comma 3 comma 5. So we get the union of both the sets as 2 comma 3 comma 5. So here we observe that the elements of A union null set belongs to the elements of null set union A. So by this we can say that a union null set is equal to null set union A. So this was the basic introduction on basic sets operations under union of sets. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtshacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.